Okay. There's a, that's what there's I, a bot that's what that comes okay. in and goes, hey, all these ratios are wrong because there's a million times right, more right, Ethereum right. or Pulse than there used to be. And so we need to fix these ratios. Okay. So it's going to mint Pulse, give it to the uh, mint Pulse and basically buy the PRC20. And so it's harvesting the PRC20s. And so if you're, if you're a PRC20 holder in a liquidity pair, then you're going to get more Pulse and you're okay. going to have less of your PRC20. Okay. And that's, and that's to make the ratios show that, hey, there's just a lot more pulse. And, okay. You know, it, ba it balances it out pretty Right. Much. So okay. it, it goes and fixes all the ratios, and then now it has a bunch of PRC20s and yeah. pulse, and then it can stick them okay. in liquidity pools, and then the old holders can't pull liquidity. So mm -hmm. so let's say some project didn't, want, didn't like pulse for some right, reason, yeah. and they wanted to pull their liquidity and stop people from trading that ticker over there. Sorry guys, you got harvested on launch, and now you can't stop the game from being played. Wow! So, so they'd, they'd have to do it before the before. Yeah, they would have they to. They wanted, but then right, they would they'd have to destroy. It, right? Yeah, they'd have to. <laughs> they would have to rug fold. Right, their they'd own have project. to rug pull their own project and remove all the liquidity and, and stop all trading <laughs> oh my gosh, for launch. That's such a, <laughs> right. So genius. It's, it's, it's a really good point. <laughs> yeah, because then it's like, no, you're coming with us. So yeah, no we're going to have your not. code and your ticker on this yeah. network. And you can't stop it from being traded. Right. And so there's a derivative, and then if there's liquidity bonding the prices together. So if you know, let's say you have Chainlink on Ethereum, and then after launch, you know, price bounces around a while. But I bet that over time, that these prices will move similarly. Right. Right. I think I think that the Link ticker on Pulse Chain is likely to move similarly to the Link ticker on Ethereum, right. just because of the bridge, right? And well, I mean, because the they were bonded by the liquidity, right? And then it's the same code with the same ticker. Now, do you want to pay a hundred or three hundred dollars to trade it on Ethereum, or yeah. do you want to pay a penny to trade it right. over here? And we already know this answer because they're doing it on other networks as well. Yeah. You know, people do trading on alternate networks, and then Come on. we're the one that you don't like. Your coins are already here. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't even have to bridge over. Right. You've already got your free coins here. You can already access them by changing one setting in your MetaMask. It's awesome, like, dude. It's it sounds. Uh, <clears throat> well, it I sounds mean, pretty awesome. Well, that's the trick. Already, that's the magic. Yeah. Is you launch this whole network with all these new it. coins. How do you get those new coins to be valuable? Right. But by not letting anyone ever stop the trading, by having the same tickers, yep. and by ha giving free. people a reason to back the value of the things yeah. they got free, right? by rewarding them with a yield farming token, it's like a giant vampire attack, basically. <laughs> it <clears throat> it's is. a giant vampire attack. <laughs> yep. It's absolutely it's beautiful. So